What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we are checking out the new feature list for the 1.20 update that just dropped earlier this week and these new features are going to complete off all the features coming in the 1.20 update so we've really got just a few more snapshots things to work out before we get the final update later this year. Uh, but what we're seeing here, the first update that you're obviously going to notice is the Cherry Grove biome. This comes with pink petals and a new wood type, the Cherry Log. Now I think this is a really cool wood set, looks very nice. Obviously it's pink to blend in uh, with the cherry tree and the cherry leaves and everything. But I think this is a really nice wood type. I'll lay out all the blocks here so that you guys can see everything. It looks very nice and they did a great job adding this into the game. Definitely something that I know a lot of players were wanting. Some players have been asking for these cherry leaves for a very long time. And not to mention that we're just getting these trees and stuff, of course. But if you pay attention while we're actually in this cherry grove biome, you'll see that there is uh, this kind of pink particles in the air. Uh, which gives kind of an ambience, which I know a lot of players really wanted with that cherry tree vibe, uh, just because it adds a really great natural ambience to uh, the biome and also to builds that are going to be done with these cherry trees. So the next great thing that was added in with this uh, new snapshot as well is the mob vote winner, the Sniffer. And you can see we've just got some grazing over here off in the distance. We'll go ahead and sneak up on them. I gotta be honest, these sniffers are way bigger than what I expected. I really had no idea. I didn't really think about how big these guys would be. But look at these things. They're over two blocks tall. Absolute units. They have a big sniff animation with their noses, which looks really cool. And I think these things are just awesome. They're a passive mob, you can't tame them or lure them in any way. They're just gonna wander around, randomly sniff things, including me apparently. And they're also going to find torch flower seeds. And you can see that I've actually planted a torch flower right there and I've got the seeds in my inventory. But that is what these sniffers will do. Now, in the sniffer description, this says they are the first of the ancient mobs. So I think we can expect to see some other ancient mobs coming in the game uh, in some future updates. I would love to see the speculation about that because there is no way I would have ever guessed something like the sniffer. But I think it's a really cool mob and definitely going to be very cool uh, seeing how these mobs actually interact with us in our survival worlds. Next up, I've come and I found this desert pyramid in the bottom of this ravine. Really weird spawn location here for it, but we are on the lookout for the new archaeology update features, specifically Suspicious Sand. Now, Suspicious Sand is going to spawn inside desert pyramids and also desert wells, and you'll notice I have the brush tool in my inventory hotbar. This is going to be the archaeology update. Now, I really wanted archaeology to come to Minecraft in the 1.20 update. Uh, it has come, it looks like. It is not quite what I was expecting. I really thought archaeology could be a lot more than what they've put into the game. And of course, they still can do a lot with it later on. But currently, what we're looking at is Suspicious Sand in Desert Pyramids. Now, Suspicious Sand is going to look like this. Uh, it's just slightly grainier than what we're looking at with the regular sand right next to it on the left. So you're going to look for the Suspicious Sand. Once you find some, which I've just planted some here, you'll use the brush on it. And every once in a while, while brushing these pieces of Suspicious Sand, you'll get a Pottery Shard. Now, the Pottery Shard you'll be able to make decorative pots with. And there's four different pottery shards currently, each with a different picture on them. Now, I'm going to put all these pictures together. You can do any amount of the pictures you want. If you only have four of one of them, then you can do that. And it's just going to create a pot with different uh, pictures on the outside. And you can see those are the four options all right there. If I go ahead and grab some bricks as well and do the same recipe, we can also just make the decorative pot, which I've had laying out here. No pictures on it, but still gives you the option to make those pots, which I think is a great another use for bricks. And I'll go ahead and make one with just one of the shards here, so you can see it's just the same picture on all sides if you do it that way. But this is what we are looking at right now with the archaeology update. 
These were all the new features that dropped in the most recent 1.20 snapshot. If you want to see all the other features that are coming, I'll go ahead and link the last video that I just made on this with all the other features coming in the 1.20 update. Uh, we've actually got a kind of big feature list at this point, so it's very exciting to see that this update has finally come together. It's definitely been a very different update. Uh, normally we get everything up front, but this time we've got everything a lot more spread out. So it's definitely a very interesting take on it, but I am very excited for the 1.20 update and we'll of course be doing more videos to cover all the new features and everything as we get closer to the final update as things change and get uh, some small improvements or changes to make them fit more into the game. But anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.